Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Yahweh, be in the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashim, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, be in the name of Yahweh's only begotten Son, and our Lord and Savior, also who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashim Rakakwadash, meaning in the name of the Holy Spirit. The bond is to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect that scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth, which are you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and Shalom to you speckled birds and your Israelite foreigners that scatter out into other nations that look like other nations but are, in fact, Israelites. And the topic of this lesson is going to be about repentance and what it is and how do you repent, all right? I'm not really sure how exactly I'm going to title this lesson, but, you know, that's what this lesson is going to be centered around. All right. And, uh, you know, this lesson is really going to be aimed towards you newer brothers and you newer sisters that's uh, in this truth. All right. You know, because, you know, a lot of times, you know, when brothers and sisters tune into the lessons that brothers do, you know, they may hear us a lot of times say that, you know, you need to repent this, that another. All right. So, you know, a lot of brothers and sisters might be wondering, you know, how do you repent? All right. And what is it exactly? So through the spirit, you know, uh, I'm going to be pretty much touching on the basics of what repentance is and how do you repent? All right. You know, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So to start off, I want to get Acts chapter three and um, let's start at verse 19. All right. And it says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come for the presence of the Lord. All right. So let's go ahead and see what, you know, this, uh, the definition of this word repent is right here in this particular scripture. All right. So this is the Greek word for the word repent, G3340. All right. I believe it's pronounced matineo. Strong's G3340, matineo. Matineo. All right, cool. So uh, let's scroll down and let's see what the outline of biblical usage is. All right. So it says to change one's mind, to repent. Second definition, to change one's minds for better, heartily to amend with ab abhorrence of one's past. All right. So, you know, ultimately, that's what, you know, to repent means. That's what repentance means. All right. To change your mind, you know, you know, repent you know it's an action word all right a lot of people you know sometimes they'll say they that they repented you know they asked the lord for forgiveness but yet they haven't done any you know changes all right they haven't you know uh, uh put their foot forward you know to make any changes in their life all right they're still doing the things that they was doing out there in the world you know so you know repenting you know it's an action word you know it's something that you have to do all right you know, then it also went on to say heartily to amend with the abhorrence of one's past. All right. You know, when you repent, you'll look at your past and, you know, you'll kind of hate it. you be like, damn, why the hell did I do that? You know what I'm saying? You know, so that's what repentance is. You know, when you repent, you know, you ask your how about me? I was shy to forgive you for the things that you've done. All right. And you change your mind. All right. You change your ways. All right. You become that new creature. You know, you put off the old man. All right. You know, the scriptures talk about how, you know, uh, you know, you have to renew your mind. All right. That's a that's the next scripture I'm going to get, you know, in Romans. But before that, I want to go to uh, the etymology of the word repent. All right. This is Adam online. And uh, it says repent, be grieved over one's past, seek forgiveness, feel such regret for sins crimes or omissions as produces amended amendment of life all right so you know when you repent you know you're you're grieved over your past all right you know you hate the things that you did out there in the world you know you look back and just sometimes you just wish that you could rewind back and change and do things different all right you know because you know you feel bad for the things that you did you know you feel bad for you know going against you know the ways of yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right you know, and uh, it says, feel such great for feel such regret for sins, crimes, or omissions as produces amendment of life. All right, you know, you regret the things that you did. You know, so when you come into this truth, you know, you come into the knowledge of being a Hebrew Israelite. You know, 
you have to repent. You know, you have to feel sorrowful and regret the things that you did. All right. You have to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that he'll forgive you, that they'll forgive you for the things that you did. You know, a lot of times when, you know, uh, you know, men and women, they're coming to this truth. You know, they'll learn that they're his Hebrew Israelite, you know, and that that'll just be the end all be all for them. All right. You know, they send up knowing that they're Hebrew Israelite, but they're still they're still pretty much being niggas in the world. You know, they're still being bad bitches, so on and so forth, you know. But when you come into this truth and learn that you're a Hebrew Israelite, you know, you have to take action. You know, you have to repent, you know, turn from the ways of your past. All right. You know, renew your mind. You can't go around thinking, thinking like a nigga anymore. All right. Trying to be a real nigga or a thug, you know, you know, out there selling drugs, you know, this, that, and other, being a city girl, so on and so forth. All right. You know, so uh, let's go ahead and get Romans. Salaki. All right, so let's go to Romans chapter 12. And let's read verse 2. All right. And it says, uh, no, let's start at verse 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh Shem Yahushai, which is your reasonable service. All right. You know, and this is off topic, but, you know, that's what, you know, uh, brothers are doing when, you know, we go out here in the highways and the byways, you know, we're, uh, you know, we're sacrificing our time to make these lessons so on and so forth. All right. You know, we're making our bodies a living sacrifice and that's our reasonable service. You know, so you brothers, you know, they have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. This is your duty. This is what you're supposed to be doing. All right. You know, you know, and ultimately, you know, you're just supposed to be serving your whole body shot because that's your reasonable service. All right. The scriptures talk about how, you know, you was bought with a price. All right. You know, and that price is, you know, uh, you know, your shy, you know, pretty much dying for our sins. All right. You know, so it's your reasonable service to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. So verse two is, uh, is the point. And it says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right. Repenting, you know, changing the way that you think, doing things differently from how you did in the world that ye may prove what is that good. An acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So, you know, when you come into this truth, you know, you have to transform your mind. You have to renew your mind. You can't be thinking like a nigga anymore. You can't be thinking like a city girl, being an independent bitch. You know, excuse my language, but, you know, you cannot be having that mentality anymore. You know what I'm saying? You know, your mentality is supposed to be to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability and first and foremost, the faith. All right. You know, so that's what repentance is all about. You know, uh, renewing your mind, changing your mind, you know, doing things differently. All right. Because repenting is an action word. All right. So um, now I got to go to the Apocrypha right quick. So uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 17. All right. And this is going to further prove that, you know, what repenting is according to the scriptures. So, um, uh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 17 and verse 25, all right? And it says, return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less, all right? You know, that's what repenting is. You know, you forsake your sins. You know, you pray to your whole Bashim Shai that, you know, that he'll forgive you, you know? You know, pray and tell, let, him, let him know that you're sorry and, you know, you, you that you, uh yeah, let him know that you're sorry for the things that you did. All right. Then the scripture goes on to say, and offend less. Why does it say offend less? Because being in these fleshly, you know, these sinful bodies, you know, we're going to slip up. All right. But, you know, you're supposed to offend less. All right. You know, do better, get better, so on and so forth. You know, because according to the scriptures, you know, we're just rehearsing, you know, the righteous acts. All right. You know, we're doing the best that we can, you know. So from here, let's go to First John. chapter three and let's uh read let's read verse four all right because in order to repent and turn away from sins you have to know what sin is exactly all right so um this is first john chapter three and verse four and it says 
Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is transgression of the law, right? So that's what sin is. You know, the breaking of the laws, all right? You know, when you, uh, you know, you pretty much, you know, you eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. You know, if you're a man, you get lineups, this, that, another. You know, you commit an adultery. You know, you commit an adultery, so on and so forth, all right? You know, many different things. You know, you're celebrating birthdays. You know, uh, you know, you're breaking the Sabbath. You know, this, that, another. You know, it's so many, it's 613 laws, all right? You know, in the tour. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what, you know, transgress, that's what sin is when you break, you know, the, the law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord gave us, all right? You know, can we keep the law perfectly? No. And that's not, you know, ultimately, that's not what's going to save us. You know, faith is what's going to save us according to the scriptures. But, you know, you're still supposed to keep the commandments to the best of your ability, all right? You know? Because the scriptures goes and it talks about how, you know, those that are, uh, I'm roughly paraphrasing, you know, those that, you know, teach and do the commandments, you know, they'll be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. All right. So, you know, letting you know, you know, you still have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. All right. So uh, from here, let's go to Ezekiel chapter 14. All right. So uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 14, and let's read verse 6, all right? And it says, Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord power, repent. So like, let's read that again. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations all right so you know that's let's that lets you know what you know repenting is you know you turn away from your idols and you turn away from your abominations all right you know idols you know that could really be anything that you pretty much put on a high pedestal all right anything that you're worshiping you know and it could be subconsciously you don't even realize it all right you know your idols could be you know christianity you know jesus christ you know that white image you know allah you know that goes into Islam, so on and so forth, all right, Buddha, you know, many false gods are out there, you know, and also, you know, idols could come in the form of other things as well, you know, a lot of you Jakes out there, you know, you love to chase the bag, you know, you worship the dollar, all right, you know, and a lot of you Jakes out there, you even worship women, all right, you know, you put your woman on a high pedestal, you know, you bow down to her, you know, you do every single thing she says, you know, at the snap of her fingers, you know, you put the woman above you, how about she, I was shy, all right, so, you know, your, your woman could be an idol or right? it could be many different things, you know. So when you repent, you know, you got to turn away from those things. All right. And you have to turn away from all your abominations. All right. You know, eating shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, you know, um, you know, uh, homosexuality, you know, uh, many different things. All right. Getting lineups, you know, those are just a few things that the law tells us not to do. All right. You know, so you have to turn away from that. That's what repenting is. So uh, let's go to Acts chapter five. All right. You know, just to clarify, you know, because a lot of people still think that, you know, repentance was given, you know, to everybody, all nations. You know, repentance was only given to the nation of Israel. All right. So I just want to bring that out right quick. This is Acts chapter five and verse. Let's start at verse 30. And it says the power of. Of your of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Verse 31. Him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Alright, so that's who repentance and forgiveness of sins was given to. Alright, it was given to Israel, you know. So that lets you know who John chapter 3 and verse 16 is going into, alright? You know, it's not the whole world like these Christians think, you know repentance and forgiveness of sins was given to israel all right you know it didn't mention any other nation they mentioned israel you know so i just want to bring it out you know right quick just for edification purposes you know for you brothers and you sisters that don't know all right so um i want to get ezekiel chapter 18 now all right i'm gonna bring out a couple more scriptures then i'm gonna close this lesson out you know it wasn't meant to uh be too long at all you know just a quick hit 
you know, touching on a pretty much the milk. All right. You know, because once you come into this truth, you know, you, you know, you, you must know what you got to do. All right. You got to repent. All right. Just simply knowing that you're a Hebrew Israelite, you know, that's not the end all be all. You know, you have to take action and repent, turn away from your sins. All right. So um, this is Ezekiel chapter 18. And let's start at verse 30. All right. So it says, therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Therefore, every Salakia, therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways, said the Lord Yahweh, repent and turn away, or return, turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be the ruin, be your ruin. All right. So you're supposed to repent. All right. Repent means to turn away from your sins, your transgressions. All right. Then it goes on to say, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. All right. Because why? The scriptures let us, lets us know that, you know, the wages of sin is death. All right. You know, for example, you know, you commit adultery, you know, back in the ancient days, that's automatic death. You know, you'll get stoned. All right. You know, you, the uh, the man and the adulteress, the woman, you know, uh, being an alphabet person, so to speak. All right. You know, that's that's death. You know, many other things as well. But, you know, those are a few examples. All right. The wages of sin is death, you know. And the scriptures talk about, I believe in Amos, that all the sinners of my of his people or the Lord's people is going to perish. All right. You know, I'm roughly paraphrasing, you know, so that's why it's important, you know, to turn away from your sins and repent. All right. You know, because we are indeed in the times of great judgment, you know. So uh, let's read down a little bit. Let's uh, read verse 31. Cast away from all your transgressions. Crest Salakia, cast away from you all your transgressions whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Right? You know, so you're supposed to have a new mind. Because according to the scriptures, you know, heart just simply means mind, all right? You know, so you're supposed to have a new mind when you come into this truth. All right. Not thinking like a, a nigga or a city girl, like you was out there in the world, you know. Verse uh, 32. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, said the Lord Yahweh. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. All right. You know, so if you want to live, you know, and ultimately have eternal life, because that's the reward that's coming to, you know, the nation of Israel, you know, starting with the elect. All right. So if you want to be a partaker in that, you know, you got to turn away from your sins, you know, and keep the faith first and foremost, because that's what's going to deliver us out of this place. All right. So, uh, I want to get Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. All right. And let's, uh, yeah, verse 23. And it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shahamashiach, our Lord. All right. So the wages of sin is death. All right. So once you come into this truth, you got to repent. You know, because you're going to be held accountable for everything, every single thing that you do. All right. You know, and, you know, it doesn't even have to take judgment day. You know, the day of the Lord to come for you to get judged. All right. You know, judgment is going out every single day. You know, and these people that's getting judged, you know, it's happening at a moment at a time that they least expected it. All right. You know, so you don't want that to be the case for you. You know, the scriptures talk about in Ecclesiastes chapter five and verse seven, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, you know, because judgment will come uh come upon you at a time that you may suspect it roughly paraphrasing you know so you know again the wages of sin is death and knowing that you know don't make no tarrying to repent all right so i'm gonna get one last scripture judges chapter 5 and verse 11 all right because as i said you know uh we just simply you know rehearsing you know the uh the righteous acts all right to lock you yeah we just rehearsing the righteous act so meaning you know we just doing the best that we can all right because we slip up and we're going to always slip up and do things that you know isn't quite right being in this flesh all right you know that's why we have to be changed so this is judges chapter 5 and verse 11 and it says they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water you know it's talking about america all right there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. All right. 
but point being it says there shall they rehearse the righteous acts and what is the righteous acts you know the laws statutes and commandments you know you know we have to rehearse those you know it's going to be certain things that you know we don't get right you know we ain't going to be able to keep the law 100 percent. you know what i'm saying you know that's why you know we're going to be saved you know by faith you know faith is ultimately what's going to save us any times to come all right you know but at the same time we still got to rehearse the righteous acts you know so you know lord willing you know this lesson was edifying to you brothers and you sisters out there that may have uh wondered you know how do you repent and what repentance really is all right so as always i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakak wadash for giving me the spirit to do this lesson the bond to the elders and apostles of great millstone and shalom to you brothers that's out there pushing this truth and sincerity shalom